Hello, 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 and welcome back to Dream Queen by Perla. Any questions as to what it is that I do, how do I do it, services that I provide, um, and all of that fun stuff down below in the description. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump right into water signs. So that is Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio for this week. So let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and focus the camera and our energy on the water and candle and see what this week's message is for you guys. Okay. We'll leave that for last then, I guess. Um, again, energies can be reversed, so go ahead and change the roles as you feel fit. Um, water signs. Let's get ourselves out of that funk. Let's um, get yourself out of that imposed prison that you're putting yourself in whether it is that somebody did you wrong or you did someone wrong regardless of whatever the situation is um sitting in that sorrow in that pain in that anger in that resentment is not going to do anything um it might fuel some of you to go ahead and get started or it might fuel some creativity but then you're lacking the action behind it. So do not um, allow yourself to sit there. Um, I do feel some of you are going to um, want to seek revenge on certain people. Um, again, that is completely your own, your own choice, um, depending on what you believe in. Um, do you believe in karma? Do you believe, you know, whatever it is that you believe in, then do as you're led to do as your intent you know your intuition um sets the intention for what it is that you're going to be doing just know that some of you are going to want to seek revenge and it's going to backfire um things are not going to turn out in the way that you want them to or you're not going to be able to hurt a person the way that you want to hurt them because maybe at the moment you're seeing that this person is, um, I feel that there's somebody that has has chosen to um, move on, move forward without you. Not necessarily with someone else, but this person decided that, um, this individual decided that their own life, their own emotions, their own um, spiritual, mental, emotional balance, alignment is more important to them than being in a connection with you where everything is uncertain when everything is unknown where you continue to go back and forth with this person so because this person went ahead and chose to move forward and kind of pull away from you now you're hurt now you're like how dare they walk away from me type of thing. Enhance where it comes for wanting to get revenge. Now, I feel that this person um, this person had to see you walk away out of their life with someone else and for some it was the person that you walked away with or again vice versa i'm just saying how it comes out the person that you chose to walk away with was somebody that they knew was somebody that even though they weren't friends it was somebody that with was within their circle um and that hurt and kind of it broke that person down to a point where they had to reflect a lot on their you know their moral values their um their self-esteem their life their choices on who they kept around and things like that and instead of kind of lashing out at you or the other person this individual chose to go inward to see where it was why why was why 
why was this person constantly attracting people that hurt them in a sense or was this person like was this individual allowing other people to treat them like that so they went ahead and they they took the time to you know kind of just heal that so that they could move forward and kind of let left you um let you do your thing let you live your life without intervening which was fine with you for a period of time until the person that you were with decided that um they were done the fun was over and they were probably either expecting drama or confrontation from the other person and when excuse me guys when that didn't happen, the excitement or the the feeling of being with you was kind of gone with it because this person was just looking for um, some type of drama, what they were used to, what, um, <clears throat> excuse me, what they felt that they they needed when it came to a connection when it came to a relationship so the fact that your ex or whomever from your past decided to just let you go kind of took the fun out out of being with you and you saw that in this person and then for a little bit you were kind of like you know on your own like oh yeah you know i i got this um it's okay and boom someone else walks in and you're like oh this is the one and Again, everything starts very fiery. Everything starts, you know, you you pursue and you pursue and you pursue and you pursue and then you get this person and it's like, um, once you're in a connection, like in a relationship with this other person, you're kind of like, uh, this is not what I wanted. Mm, either this person made you feel, try to belittle you, made you feel less than, um, try to lower you, always try to speak um, of themselves as if they were higher than you. And then you went ahead and you were like, okay, I'm just going to be single, blah, 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 blah. And then um, you kind of started some old patterns when it came to um, just kind of either sleeping around or whatever, kind of just taking life like there's no consequences for your actions. Like if, as long as I do what I want today, it really doesn't matter because tomorrow is another day type of thing. But as you're living like that yes enjoy embrace every day but make sure that everything that you're doing every day is um helping for tomorrow is making tomorrow better versus making tomorrow worse and even though you were given plenty of warning you were giving plenty of chances to go ahead and change certain patterns not change yourself but change the way that you went about certain things or the way that you perceive certain people or the way that um, certain actions that you went ahead and you took um, you dismissed them and decided that your way was the best way that you were comfortable with hurting people because you have been hurt so I'm gonna do to others what has been done to me even though the person that you're hurting or the person that you hurt that's the correct term the person that you hurt didn't deserve it um maybe they deserved it in the past but whatever was done to the level that it was done whatever it was whether you try to um make this person feel like they were literally worthless like they were nothing like they were the worst of the worst or the like you know bottom feeders or whatever it was whatever however it was that you tried to put the person you left down did not deserve to be treated that way if that makes sense so as you want and you move forward and you try over and over and over with multiple connections every connection that you went into you got karma for what you did to that one person 
every single connection that you have been in has given you or has given you the opportunity to reflect. But instead of taking that reflection, you go ahead and you go back to that person or someone or a couple of people from your past and then you try to inflict that pain back onto them because you feel that if you're in pain, then they should be in pain, that they should not be happy, that they should not be able to move forward without you. It's a very selfish, um, self-centered um, in a way that is destroying very little of what is left between you and this person. Again, this has been um, revealed to you through dreams, through conversations with other people, through your own sitting down and reflecting. And <clears throat> you see the, you, you try and see the possibility with this person. You try and see the, excuse me. You try and see how you can approach this person. I feel like this has been a pattern for you guys for the last couple of weeks of just going back and forth. And your, your gestures towards the person in the past that you hurt are not getting you anywhere because that person doesn't want anything to do with you in that way and is trying their best to not have any ties to you moving forward um, unless you and this person have either property together or um, are still legally married or have children or whatever it is um, they want to have the, the minimal amount of um, communication with you or connection with you as possible and it's really getting under your skin because um, this person was always there for you. This person was um, was your ride and die, was the person that always had your back, and was the person that you could have built um, a future with. You could have built um, everything that you wanted because I do feel that this person was very driven, very determined, and um, really had very similar goals to yours um, in the future, for the future, even if their way of going about it was not the same. Um, I feel that this person from your past that you hurt kind of balanced you out, but you spiral so much out of control with wanting to, to suppress that other person, you know, suppress a person from the past that the person had no choice but to walk away because there was no longer a balance within the connection. Because where, where the other where the other person was lacking that you were supposed to bring, and where you were lacking that the other person was supposed to bring, and I'm not talking about um, fulfilling the other person as a whole. I'm talking about just normal things when it comes to relationships and connections, right? Um, so the waiting and the lack of action or initiative on your end or the lack of investment um, emotionally. Um, I feel that you had a very hard time um, talking to this person in a way that um, that you were able to express yourself without being harsh. I feel that every time that you were open or every time that you were that you would express anything to this person you had to do it in a harsh way where I kind of want to see you cry and I kind of want to see you suffer. And it's kind of like that darker side, that shadow side of yourself that for whatever reason always overtakes when you're around this person. And as much as you want to come forth and you want to talk and you want to express your love to them, you are holding yourself back because deep down you know that it's not going to be accepted. It's not going to be received in the way that it was in the past. So some of you are choosing, you know what, I'm just going to make their life miserable. 
and I'm just going to try and hurt them a little bit more. And that's perfectly fine. That is your choice. Just know that it's not going to work in the way that you want it to. You doing that is just giving that person more confirmation that they made the right choice by walking out of your life. They made the right choice by moving forward with their own life. And some of you are trying to mend the, the distance between the two of you. Again, trying to do like small gestures, either trying to check up on the person and call and things like that to try and get back into this person's um, good grace. But this person is not having it. There was a huge um there's a there was a huge betrayal <clears throat> and there are th there are still things that um you are hiding that you are aware that this person knows that you're hiding something within that category let's put it that way so if it was let's say something about finances maybe you went ahead and gave money to like another girl or whatever or you mm, went ahead and slept with either one of the your ex's um family member or friend or somebody close to them and have yet to admit it um or it was it's something along those lines that the person that you hurt, your per the person from your past, your ex, knows that there's more to the story than what has been revealed. And because of the simple fact that you have never come out and been honest about it, there's, there's as much as you try or they try or as much as both of you try and have this connection have this relationship um work in the past let's put it that way it was never truly going to work because this person has no trust for you this person usually gives their trust pretty easily until somebody breaks them and when you break it it's like yeah you're gonna have to work above and beyond to start earning it back i give it to you free once and after that it is done and over with and regardless of the trust issue this person really try to put things behind them they really try and move forward with you multiple times but it got to a point where it was like you know what if this water sign is not <laughs> respecting me just as an individual, just as a person. We're not even, because this person doesn't feel that you even respect them as a human being or as an individual. That is how much damage you caused um, by your actions, by your words, because it was a repeated pattern. It was a repeated pattern. And... It took a lot of time for that person to get out of that and to heal from that. And once they got to that space of loving themselves and putting themselves first, they started to recognize your patterns. They started to recognize your behavior. And now it's like before it even starts to show or it starts to manifest, they know what's coming and they're just choosing not to even be a part of it. So now, <clears throat> as you're trying to get out of this um, space, this energy of overcoming your most recent breakup or heartache, um, if you may say, you're sitting there for a very short period of time, blaming yourself for losing the one person that truly did accept you even if they didn't know everything about you and even if they didn't um fully understand you they were honestly and full-heartedly willing to to excuse me that's my stomach <laughs> my hungry now let me stop 
um, they were really in a position of wanting and willing to understand you, trying to, trying to get you, trying to get to know you, trying to know all the parts of you so that they can, that they, so that they could accept you fully and completely without judgment. But it's like every time they tried, you just came back stronger and harder in the way that you hurt them. You came back stronger and harder in the way that you disappointed um, because even when you made promises and even when you yeah you would make promises and never follow through and this person would tell you don't promise things that you know that you're not going to be able to keep or don't make me any promises. Let's just take it day by day. And then you will get irritated because then you're like, oh, you don't believe me. And they're like, honestly? No, but I'm willing to give you the chance. I'm willing to um, give you the benefit of the doubt. But don't make promises. Don't, don't, don't make promises, you know, six weeks down the line, a year down the line, six months down the line. Because it then and then you would get upset when <laughs> when they would say that is a repeated pattern because you don't want to hear that. You there's certain parts of yourself when it comes to like your darker side, your darker shadow that you're willing to admit and you're willing to accept. But when it's facing you and it's right there because this person doesn't hold back, this person speaks their mind like there's no tomorrow. Um, it really annoys you that someone got to know you better than than you ever thought possible and that was the thing is like a lot of the other people that you connected with were able to read certain things about you so you thought that they knew you but when you showed that side of you they weren't willing to accept them so they walked away And then you chose to walk away from the one person that was willing to accept you falling. And now they just, again, a lot of them have either, very few have moved on with um, someone else and others are just moved on. And they are, they are finding their joy. They're finding their happiness without having any ties to you. And <clears throat> some of you are going to want to go ahead and play that. Well, if you truly loved me or if you really loved me ever, you, you would still take me back. And like you're going to try and use some type of manipulation when it comes to trying to get this person back. Um, if you are married, you're going to try and use, um, the marriage. Um, if you have kids, you're going to try and use the kids. If you have property, you're going to use that. You're going to try to use whatever it is that you can to hold on to this person because, um, now you fully understand the other person, the person that you hurt, but only because you yourself have suffered through multiple connections all the pain that you caused one person so that's cancer so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to pull through three oracle cards cancer pisces and scorpio and these are the cards that are used for the extended reading the weekly extended for that information you can go ahead down below in the description so let's go ahead pisces and scorpio Could it be that um, there are a few of you water signs that are going to bounce right back and are just going to just accept everything as entirely and move forward because you know that unless certain things are 
unless you're willing to work on gaining someone's trust, you know it's not going to work. And for some of you, it's too much work. And that's just the truth. So Cancer, we have Stag, Trust and Thrive. So with this, I have a feeling that whatever it is that you are being led to do, whether it is, you know, in regards to the person from the past, if, if you have this, um, this feeling of wanting to go ahead and talk, wanting to go ahead and kind of have a clean slate, not for the sake of reconnecting with them in a romantic way, but more for, excuse me, more for the sake of just just kind of putting the past behind the both of you. Let's put it that way. So that maybe in the near future, you guys can be friends. And if anything, if you guys were ever to reconnect as lovers or whatever, um, it would be more further down the line. But this is a person that you truly do not want to lose. You truly do not want to... Um, <clears throat> You don't want them to exit your life completely. And you are probably feeling like you want to go ahead and speak about it and try and see if that at least a high and by type of friendship um, or at least being in good terms type of thing. And I feel for those of you cancers that are being led when it comes to the connection in regards to that, that you are going to get that type of relationship with this person. So you are going to be able to either like be friends or just at least be in good terms with that person. Pisces, we have sun, enjoy success and happiness. And um, Pisces, to me, when it comes to this specific reading with the sun card, it's like you are going to accept what has happened and you're going to try to take accountability for the things that you choose to. And then you're going to try and just move forward yourself. And in doing that, you're trying to move forward by yourself and giving yourself the time to heal so that moving forward, whether you choose to try and go back to the person or you you move forward with another person, um, you are not making, you're not repeating the same patterns, if that makes any sense. You are able to kind of overcome this, <coughs> excuse me, I don't know, water signs, what you guys are doing to me, but um, trying to move forward, overcoming this challenge, overcoming this cycle, overcoming this pattern of, um, of way when it comes to um, relationships and Scorpios we have Hunter track down your fears and desires and I feel that a lot of the Scorpios are probably the ones that are trying to get revenge or are trying to um, make someone else feel as um, as her as they feel because the same things that you fear are the same things that you're desiring um, the person that you fear, you fear that you're going to lose is the same person that you want and you feel that you can't be with them. So it is a conflicting thing because it's like if I can't have you, then I want to destroy you so that you're no good for anyone else. So again, it's that self-centered, selfish kind of energy that you are really holding on to because maybe in the past that behavior um worked maybe you were able to break this person down to the point where they honestly thought that without you they couldn't be anything so they would eventually give in but the more you push this energy onto the person from the past the more you're pushing yourself away from them if that makes any 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 sense to you guys 
You guys are gonna make me drink like a whole gallon of water now. <laughs> no, I am not sick. Everything is good on this side. Uh, well, guys, as always, thank you for all the love and support. I'm gonna go ahead and get this uploaded for you guys. Um, I wanna go ahead and send everybody love, strength, and blessing, and I'll see you guys back next week. Bye.